Hey folks, Father Sapothi from City Virus here. Today we're going to see how to get Unreal Engine working on Linux um, with for C++ uh, projects and uh, with Qt Creator. So some of my Linux folks has asked for this thing. So here it is. So first thing first is basically you need to uh, do multiple things here. So you need to sign up for Unreal Engine account here. And uh, if you go to the download section, you will get only Windows and Lin uh, we are Mac version so to get the Linux version <laughs> to get the Linux version you need to go here and in um, uh, first of all you have to um, uh, create an account in github quite obviously and then uh, go to this page I'm going to link it in the description and um, you will get uh, all the instruction here how to uh, verify your epic accounts and how to go to the uh, Unreal Engine here we go and uh, you need to uh, fill up these forms and uh, you have to be invited you have to get invited from github by this Unreal Engine community so you can do those things here and um, I will give it in the description so you can follow it along alright so after getting all of these things let's go here this is uh, building on Linux uh, documentation so I'm going to start it from here all right so first thing first is basically you just create a folder or directory here and uh, go to your terminal and uh, in your terminal what you have to do let's turn it off here here we go so everything will be in the description so you can follow with it so yeah uh, so first thing let's start from right here you know there you go go and and here we go so ha huh. so uh, first of all you need to clang you need to do you need to set up your clang clang farmers first so um sudo app remove clang why remove because i'm using a uh, debian buster which is basically a uh, uh, you know bleeding edge debian version so my bleeding edge debian version has clang 6 by default but uh, Unreal Engine supports up to Clang 5. Actually, 4 is the uh, most stable one. So use 4. So just uh, in if you have Clang, uh, and uh, then uh, remove the Clang. sudo apt remove. Here we go. And uh, then you have to install the Clang 4. You can do it in Qt Creator as well. But uh, I have seen that there are some confliction going on. So I have just removed the Clang 6 from here. And uh, we're going to install Clang 4. And then you have to install GCC and you have to install GDB. All right. And uh, then you need to link your Clang 4 with Clang and uh, Clang++ 4 with Clang++. All right. Just give it those things in command and it will be done. You have to do it in sudo. Then you have to install these dependencies. Okay. These dependencies. That's it. So now. Uh, we're going to uh, CD this Unreal app, and uh, there you go. So I'm just going to CD double column. And, oops, Control Shift V. There you go. So now we are in Unreal app. Uh, Unreal app, by the way, <laughs> I've just you know um, made this folder. Okay, it's not. Uh, it's empty. Yeah. So now what you have to do is basically git clone. Uh, we are using 4.18 because I have seen that 4.18 is the most stable one though uh, we have 4.21 till now but uh, I'm using 4.18 you will see this information again in this here building on Linux okay these are the commands these are the commands all right so let's do it like that so uh, just you know build it like that um, git clone I'm using git clone uh, so control C and just paste it here and uh, it will clone all the thing but before that you have to give you your username and password I'm just going to abort it because I don't want to I already have done these things so yeah then you have to CD Unreal Engine so where it is is basically you know your uh, 
application after after uh, you know uh, extracting the git you will get these things okay so yeah so then cd the unreal engine here and then what we need to do is basically i'm just going to cd it yeah there we go so this is in unreal engine then what you have to do is basically this is this one is very important term equal to s term uh, for mono installation you will need these things so you need to paste this term x term first term equal to s term then just simply set up dot sh okay let me so I'm gonna show you here set up dot sh if you start the setup of sh uh, for mono installation and some dependency installation it will ask for your sudo so do it like that so sudo the password i'm not going to do it it will take some really long time you know uh, so yeah uh, more like 10 to 20 minutes then you have to uh, when everything is done you will get this whole package here the most important one is this generate project files dot sh so <coughs> now uh, after uh, you know uh, uh, after doing this setup you will need this so generate file dot sh and then if you press enter then it will generate and compile uh, some files here so after that i think i have missed one thing here yeah you need to make i'm going to copy it dollar make so after uh, generating all the files it will say uh, it will tell you it's successful then you have to do a make command which will execute all the cmake files here this one cmake file and it will compile everything for you so that's it usually it was really hardcore <laughs> at, uh, at you know uh, when it was in 4.0 uh, 4 so it's <laughs> It's pretty easy now all right so now uh, everything will be all right and you will get your unreal engine editor here okay so yeah so this is the github part this is the github part and uh, you need to download it so now i'm going to take a break and i'm coming back all right so these things are done so let's turn up the terminal and there we go okay so now let's fire up unreal editor for the first time unreal editor there we go and i'm coming back all right so this is our unreal project browser so what we have to do is basically go to the new project so if you're using a blueprint uh setup you don't need to do anything else just go to the blueprint uh make your uh you know locations name and create project it will be created and it you, you can start right away but for c++ you will need something else so let's go to the c++ and uh, for c++ project what you have to do is basically uh, go here go to the basic code and in the location just uh, go for some location so I'm using mine yeah let's control B there you go and uh, let's name it let's name it test underscore project Oh, let's use test project there we go and then basic code and then create the project and you can see in real time what is going on so I'm going to pause it and I will come back let's create it here all right so Unreal Engine has created all the project and has been closed so here we go so now you are seeing uh, there is KDF4 which is kdevelop file you can use it with Linux, kdevelop file, uh, file. There is dot pro, which is actually the Qt creator file. Uh, and uh, these are PRI, these are Qt creator files. The workspace, I think this is for Lightworks. So in Linux, uh, Unreal Engine use uh, three standard IDE. One is kdevelop, another one is Qt creator, another one is Lightworks. You can also use other IDEs, but it uh, take some you know things and I love Qt Creator so I'm going to use it with Qt Creator so uh, let's see yep here we go we have the pro now let's go to um, 
yeah now let's go to Qt Creator so I'm going to fire up Qt Creator here hmm there we go so this is Qt Creator the standard now let's go to the open project or just drag the test project pro here just drag it here there we go so it already has started working and in the Qt Creator project you need to do lots of things so let's do it one by one so press window here and let's go here there we go okay we can minimize it here okay so first thing first is basically yeah config the project I'm using Qt5 you can use Qt4 uh, but Qt5 yeah not a problem so let's go here configure the project there you go so the test project is coming so let's go to control H okay uh, sorry control 5 there we go so now we need to create some stuff here first one is um, yeah hmm. first one first one is edit build config debug so you need to go to this build build and in the debug you need to uncheck these shadow builds here and then I have installed QMake so I'm just going to uh, close it we don't need QMake we will need met and in the build step I'm going to details you can see we need to create some arguments here so first one is uh, debug delete queue make yep if any build build uh, make arguments type okay so in arguments type we need to um, uh, say ue4 editor linux debug so control c this one and uh, this is our build step argument just paste it here there we go so this is the build step done then go to the clean step and go to the details and we're going to use clean step this one u for editor linux debug arcs clean so there you go that's it where i am getting this information well uh let me show you that here for a moment let's go here i will link all of this so you can get the whole information package here so I'll go to that and yeah so you will get all the packages here all things with image so not a problem just follow that follow that rule yeah so Let's save it. All right. So where we were? Um, hmm. uh, Qt5. Yeah. So this one is for debugging. So now let's go for release. Shadow build off. Delete the QMAC. Go to the MAC file. And go to the arguments. And for this one, we're going for release. There we go. And we're going for make make argument type u4 editor this one should be only u4 editor no linux no nothing so just u4 editor control b and this one is clean step for u4 u4 arcs clean there you go so u4 editor and uh, this is the clean step just go here and paste it here so this is for release all right so done so your release form should be like that see it very carefully and your debug settings should be like that okay done shadow build off okay done done all right what next go to the run section and executables 
so this one is called run so this is the build section this is the run section and in run section you will see the executable so what you have to do here is basically you need to do the executable uh, you know all of your um, unreal engine folder which you had created uh, with git all right your unreal engine installation folder you need to link it control uh, you know go your go to your url now what you need to do is basically you need to select your unreal install directory unreal engine engine binaries linux evaporator so let's go to the executable here browse control l control v there you go and in the binary i think engine binaries linux lots of stuff so uh, yeah ue4 so you have to search for it u e4 and uh, yeah this one u4 editor let's open it there we go so it's done and next is go to the working directory section this is the working directory and it should be just linux so should be linux something like that so just copy this guy control c and control v we don't need the u4 editor just delete this guy here we go that's it linux okay linux so your run environment should be like that enable the c++ don't need qml so here we go okay that's it okay now let's go to edit test project build build project control b okay now let's build it and it will take some time so i'm coming back okay so the build is done uh here you can see the build is done and compile without any issue uh but uh i made a mistake here the clean should have one apostrophe in build uh, environment so yeah I forgot that so, yeah this one okay all right so let me see those yeah this one is correct okay all right so anyway uh, sorry for that so okay so now let's go to uh, the build is ready so let's go to run and it will start running and let's see all right so the build is success so what we need to do now is basically go to the build and run so control r and uh, it will create some running yep it's coming all right it's coming so let's wait there we go so it has come and uh, you can see this one is our test project so just select it and open it and it will show you that you need to rebuild them so let's rebuild yes and here we go it has been rebuilt and now it's initializing so let's wait and it's open all right so that's it okay now I'm gonna start working on that yeah so we need to save the level and the stops so yeah let's save it here that's it so the level is saved so that's how you can start working with unreal engine c plus plus and qt creator in linux well that's it i'm father sympathy from cg virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye